Hey everybody, hope your day is going well. We are back with Kansas on the other side. Man, I've really been enjoying this journey through Kansas music. Really vibing with it, really resonating with me on a musical level, vocally and lyrically. So uh, yeah, all the elements we need for great music is coming together through this band. So let's continue the journey. Thank you for joining me. Let's listen to On the Other Side. sounds so good just all these different instruments and some of them that you wouldn't necessarily think of putting them together you know especially you know when this came out maybe i love that we got a violin we got oh my god we got electric guitar we got a, an acoustic oh man i love it and then the lyrics uh, you know as a bookie person, <laughs> as a writer, of course, you get me with that empty page line and the pen is in my hand and I'm looking here at the lyrics. The words don't come so easy, but I'm trying. And like in the chorus, they, without saying it, they saying like, turn the page, you know, it's on the other side. And that is just how life is. You know, sometimes you don't find purpose in life or uh you can't find the melody you've forgotten a great line whatever or just generally you have no direction in life but if you keep going you never know what's around the corner inspiration might hit you ideas might hit you a solution for a problem you're dealing with might hit you and you need to believe in something and i believe it's yourself mm. and these guys are so good um especially when they're going together turn around hey yo Man, great writing, and, uh, oh man, there's another one. Feel the sound, feel the sound, it's coming from deep inside. You know, let it be your guide, I love that, you know, be guided by your heart, by your instinct, you know, just whatever it is, whatever it is you can't explain, you know, follow that, especially when it comes to creativity, so I like that a lot. And you hear musicians uh, talk about this, love. I had this melody in my head, and then I forgot it, and you know, now, how many great riffs have we missed out? How many we were lucky that they could remember it? If you don't immediately write it down or record it or something, um, yeah, you you run the risk of forgetting. <laughs> oh man, that's uh, yeah. I've heard of a few stories about that. So yeah, man, really, you know the way they put it into to the page here. Mm. Servant to the end. 
escape the times we live in. The answers are so simple, and we all know where to look. But it's easier just to avoid the question. And if I see too inconclusive, it's just because it's so elusive. And though I've said it all before, I'll say it once again. Everyone needs something to believe in. So. Like I said in the beginning, man, it's such a, I, I resonate with their music a lot. You know, there's a lot of these thought provoking lines in it, really sometimes these existential type of lyrics, you know, of these, you know, questions that we ponder and, you know, for creativity it can work wonders, but also in real life, it could lead to, you know, like worry, anxiety, and so it, I, I get a little bit of both here in like being about creativity, writing and creating melodies and music, but also like there's some tools for life about waiting for the day. I can see here that line, waiting for the day to end and the other to begin because they've forgotten what it stood for. Sometimes you lose direction in life and you're so busy with whatever you're doing. And then suddenly you would, thought you were chasing a dream and then you said, well, I, I've forgotten the purpose of this. What? Why am I still doing it like this? You know, so that's a really, oh man, like I said, that's thought provoking. It opens up conversation and yeah, it's almost like talking to a muse as well or to your consciousness or ego and, and, and then talking about desperation that it show its face in, in many, it's ugly face in many, many ways. And we know the world we live in, but you can't escape it. Um, and there really are, these answers are so simple and we all know where to look like, mm, like love, for example, it's so simple. It's so cliche, but if we had a little more of it these days, you know, and kindness and empathy and, and all that the world would be a better place. And then it's crazy that you have to say that, that, you know, or that it sounds cliche or naive. Which, which is so true, and then he said, the answers are so simple, but it's easier to avoid the questions, you know. It's harder to look in the mirror, and if I seem inconclusive, and when we're jumbling about, and humans are walking contradictions, it's just because it's so elusive, you know. As is life, as is the answers, as is thoughts, as is ideas, when it comes to creativity, you know, all this, it like dreams, for example, you know, you can... You have them, but you can't always hold on to them. And the current moment is another one of those things. Living in the present time, but it's so elusive. It's volatile. It's beginning and ending at the same time. So, man, you know, all of these type of thoughts come about when I listen to Kansas, man. And then they come with this great music, these great riffs, and these great melodies with, you know, two... With, in this case, are there are these are two strong vocalists, or do other guys also sing solo sometimes? Because it's amazing that some bands have like multiple strong vocalists, and when they sing together, it's so it's really something else for me. I really, really dig their music, and then with the violin or is it fiddle? I never know the difference. I know it's like with different tuning and stuff, but uh, I need to train my ear in uh, in in recognizing that. And hopefully through doing many of these reactions and a lot of your nice comments, I will finally be able to do that. 
So yeah, another great song for me musically, vocally, and then lyrically for me, it's yeah, it's a uh, la clem la. No, see, I almost got through this without making any mistakes. La creme de la creme, you know, really great type of stuff I like, you know, it doesn't always have to have big words or like abstract things that you have to think about, you know, Dylan-esque lyrics, which I like, I like digging into that. Sometimes you can have these like give you that food for thought type of thing, you know, I love that, um, which Dylan also does, of course, but uh, in a different way, in a different way. And uh, I like all of that. And it makes me, you know, a better writer and a better human being overall listening to all this music on the channel man uh, it definitely helps me to keep an open mind which is uh, very important for me yeah man on the other side turn the page you never know what's there uh and what is to be found there man wow great great song thank you once again for joining me and i hope to see you on the other side well at least in another video peace